Hey guys, we're here at the Fnatic Gaming House and uh, we're gonna go upstairs, talk to Daylor a little bit about coaching and what it's like coaching Fnatic in particular. Hey guys, we're here at the H2K house. I'm gonna go talk to Prolly about his coaching style and of course about H2K as a team. So uh, let's go say hello. What, what is your opinion on the balance between being friends with a player mm -hmm. or being like this mean authoritative figure? I think it's really important that you have the authority that, that everyone understands that if you say A, they have to do, the, do A. But at the same time, I'm not really like a dictator or something like this. Like I'm pretty trolly, I'm joking around with the guys all the time. So I think it's really important that you have a connection or kind of friends? It's it's definitely not black and white like that. I definitely wouldn't say I'm a friend in the way that they can talk to me like a friend, but I have to be a friend in the way that they can come to me with all their problems and they'll be able to trust me because they know what I'm doing is for them and not for anybody else. Do you feel structure and eating healthy, you know, working out, something a lot of teams are now investing into with life coaches, do you feel mm -hmm. that's very important and is it something you guys do here at HUK? Uh, currently, we don't do much healthy food eating or working out or anything like that. I think those are luxuries to reach the highest level. It's less about how much time you have in the day and more about you need to be completely focused on one thing at a time to improve on. I don't think that, that we can think of the brain and the body as disconnected. I think if you have a healthy body, this will benefit your, your brain and the other way around. So uh, players spend, what, 14 hours sitting? Just by them going outside of the house is already good. If they're going to the gym and they're doing uh, some uh, cardio, this is uh, even better. It's not even about getting fit, it's about being healthy. Two years running out as a head coach. When it comes to responsibility, in your opinion, a team's performance, how much falls back on the coach and how often can you actually blame the coach if a team is doing poorly? I think the coach should absorb close to like 85 to 90 percent of the responsibility of the team. The coach's decision to be doing things. So regardless of if you're taking the player's input, that's your decision as a coach to take the player's input. So you have to take responsibility for that. I think that the team or the community, basically everyone, don't understand that there's no league coaches. A League of Legends coach doesn't exist. What's a League of Legends coach right now? A former player that goes directly from player to coach without coaching studies. Or there, there's coaches that studied business or sports or whatever that then go into coaching League of Legends. Building a team is always going to be something that takes an infinite amount of time. There's never going to be a time where you completely finish your job as a coach. I think in League of Legends, there's a difference between coaches and how coaches should work. And I believe in League of Legends, I would say three weeks is long enough for a coach to have an effective job. I can't put it all on luck. It's got to be the way the first week I spent with the team. Like, first impressions really matter. You can't really start the job slowly. You have to start the job running at full speed, or it's just not going to work. Going into, into the coaching position, I had a really clear idea how uh, our structure should be. I want to have a sports psychologist, multiple analysts. I, I saw myself as a head coach, so I explained like all the stuff that I would like to do and why I thought it was important. During the year, we were able to develop a little bit, and this year, finally, we were able to develop much more. You as a coach, or even the players, we are, uh, let's say, toolkits, or we have our skill set. The thing that I, I can do for the players or for the team is I can guide them, I can help them, but I cannot make them do everything. 2v1s that go wrong for Baron calls that go wrong. These are all things that should be controlled by the coach. And when I see teams fail 2v1s, fail Barons, the coach should have been teaching them better. And if this is something that a coach has tried and the players keep getting it wrong, then I would say the responsibility is still on the coach. The coach needs to change his approach to this kind of situation. I've dealt with a lot of problems teaching 2v1s and stuff like that. And every time something went wrong, I always blamed myself because I could have done it better, I could have taught it differently. I could have gotten through to them, and the second that I take the blame away from myself and put it on the players, that's the second I become a worse coach. 